Hello everyone, I'm Tainiyat Siddiqui. I'm a mixed media and abstract artist. I love working in landscapes and florals and paintings that have architectural features in it. I do have a company by the name of Canvas Stories that does art events throughout GTA. They can be corporate events or even private events. So today I'm so excited that we are going to do a workshop where I've incorporated some architectural features. So let's get started. All right, so let's get started with our painting today. And this is the painting that we would be drawing and painting. And I'll go over with the materials that I have used today. So let's start with the book. This is the mixed media book that I use. It has mixed media paper in it. It's quite durable and uh, it's really nice. I really like it. I will be using um, a green tape, painter's tape, that you can get in a hardware store or even dollar store. I like to put it around my paper. Um, gives you a nice border. Then I've used a couple of brushes here. Um, a white, a straight edge brush and then a round edged, if you have a wider straight edge as well and a pointed one and then a couple of sharpies and a pencil and an eraser and the paints that i have used today is uh, black um, and yellow okra and i have used um, a red deep and you can use any brand it doesn't really matter so i have poured a little bit in my plate here and um, I do like to work uh, with uh, water in two containers. One is a small container, so it helps me to decide how much water I want in my brush. I can see it well. And then I keep a little um, uh, glass jar uh, where I can dip my brushes so they don't get spoiled and they don't get dry. So let's get started now. So I like to start with the composition and to decide. Uh, where we want to put what. So as you can see, this architectural feature is um, right more on the left side here. And then I have a few arches going up and few here. We have a sun almost in the center and there is a balcony that is jutting out a little bit and a few birds here. So let's do our composition on our paper. And you can see that um, I have already put the green tape. It gives you a nice border um, and really looks nice once we remove it. Um, so if you look at this um, uh, page, I like to normally give it a nice light center line going up to down. Just divide your page into four quarters. It's very light, so probably you won't be able to um, uh, see it as well um, and then if you can draw a line that goes in the middle on the left side here that gives us the center of our building that we are drawing just here this would be our reference now if you look at the painting here there is a dome a few balconies there's a balcony here and arches here there's a nice jutting roof and a few arches down here. So let's get started. So I would kind of take it midway from the top here and make a marking for our dome around this much maybe. Um, just above our center line, this is my center line. Then I will draw a line going straight here for our roof and a slant line here that would take us up to our dome line here and then this is my center line I'm going to go down and I will make another roof here so this would be my roof so I'll take a straight line going up there and then a slant line here 
and I'm going to just take another horizontal line. So these are just our guidelines here. And I'm going to make my center line, which is going from top to down, just go down here. So this is kind of giving us a rough idea of our building that we are trying to draw here. And then we will make some, a line right here to guide us of where we want our arches to go. As you can see, it's right here. So let's draw some arches. There are all kinds, different, various kinds of arches that we can draw. I have a few sketches here, rough sketches. Um, this is like a pointed arch. You can see it goes up here and it joins in the center. And then you have the Ogi arch, which is like an S shaped here. And it joins right in the center again. Then you have the horseshoe arch, which is circular. And then you have the multifoil arch, which kind of goes in different uh, directions, but it is circular as well. So you can decide which arch you would like to put in here, but it doesn't really matter. Something simple we can start doing. And just roughly, we're going to draw some arches here. As you can see, I'm drawing some arches, a little bit circular, and then straight lines. Don't worry about it being symmetrical because this is just going to be some work where we just want to have some fun and give you a feeling of an architectural building. And then let's do the same thing over here. So let's draw a rectangular block. There's really no specific, you know, sizes. Um, and let's do maybe four of them. You can decide maybe more or less, whatever is, you know, comfortable for you. I'm going to draw four small ones just here. And that is it really. This is going to be our framework. We'll just do a little bit of an outline for our dome and just make a mark in the top here and a circular, circular shape, semicircle and just even it out. So that's it really. We're going to use our eraser and just try to erase the lines we don't need, especially the center line and the center line this way. And that's it really. And then we are ready to start painting. That's it. Wherever you don't need those lines, we're going to rub it off. Okay, so I'm going to take my straight edge uh, brush and I am going to now start with my lightest color, which is the yellow. And just dip a little bit of my brush into the water and then take the yellow and I'm going to start from the top, right here. And we're going to go almost midway. And your strokes are going to be left to right. And you're going to go over your building as well. Just enjoy the process and kind of, you know, keep adding a little bit of yellow, a little bit of water and start doing it. Just go one way, left to right. That's it really. It's as simple as this. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to use the same brush and do the bottom part as well. As you can see, it's a sunset. So I'm going to use the uh, 
the red color for the sunset in the middle but I'm going to try and finish the top and bottom and gently just keep adding the colors so I'm going to go almost to our halfway and I will stop here a bit and then I will use the same brush, dip it in water and use the red. So start from the middle, right here in the middle and move upwards and down. So I'm going to go move upwards, keep adding water as much as you need. Just go nicely to the edges. We'll end it till the next, our next yellow line, which is here. See how beautiful the sunset looks now. Okay, so what we're going to do now, just so that we blend it, I'm going to wipe uh, my brush um, on a paper towel. Just dip my brush again in water and go into the yellow and start from my yellow and go towards the red. So I'm starting from bottom towards the yellow and then just bring it towards the red and blend it. I'll do the same with the top part. I'll start with the yellow side and bring my brush lower to the red. And this is how I did my blending. And I can just do another coat on top. Gives a little bit of variety, texture. You can leave a bit of yellow, more of yellow showing or more of red showing, whatever you wish to do. This really does our background. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my circular, these around edge, sorry, um, brush and I'm going to dip it in water and just dip it in our yellow and I'm going to make the sun here, right here. Now it will start getting a bit red, but that's okay. We'll be working on layers on it. So keep adding more of the yellow. And we're going to let it dry a little bit. You can wipe your brush uh, well and get a thicker coat of the, of the yellow and work on it. Just like this. Okay, I got a, I got a brush bristle here so that I remove it. There you are. It has a slight shade of the, of the sun here. Okay. Now we're going to start with our outline. So I'm going to wipe this brush um with my paper towel really well and we're going to start with our black and i will start with my dome right here and let's we already have a bit of outline so it becomes quite easy so i'm going to start with our dome just take your black paint in the brush and you can use your round edge brush to do your dome because it becomes easier. We try to use thick black paint because then it will be nice and it will stand out. And you can see the contrast as well. 
but if it's not moving as well, you dip your brush in a bit of water and we'll keep doing this. And adjust your edges as you are painting. And now we have this, this roof part, which I know is going to come here. I can see it, it's here. Now you can leave the really fine ends for later Oops. and uh, kind of use it, uh, use a finer brush, a thinner brush to do its work there. So here I go. This has given me the, the roof and the dome. And I have another layer to go before I start the arches. So if you can see, I have this part here, which I'm going to go down. You can make a straight line. You can move your brush and make it straight so that you can fill in the, the area in between the arches. So I'm going to do the same over here and over here. Right? And I have some filling up here that I need to do and then I have my arches that I have to create. Now for this if you wish to we can start using a fine brush. I'm using my really fine brush and give it a outline. Just a fine outline and then so that it's easier for us to fill it in. There you go. Then I filled it up. And on the go, you can keep adjusting your arches. You don't have to worry about them because it's black. Once you've gone over it, then it becomes difficult. But just look at the shades that are emerging. Now you can see the window, the arches through, which is so beautiful. Look at this. Now you can see them emerging. Now let's go to the next part of the roof and um, I could use my fine brush so that I can, you know, control it more, but it really depends on how comfortable you are. So I'm just to use this one and I am going to now fill it up nice black color you can even wherever you come into edges you can shift to your finer brush so that you don't kind of go over your lines and keep adding water when it dries up if it's too wet like i feel this has become too wet i'm going to dab it and take more paint and start. Now we are coming very close to our other archers. So these are pointy archers that I have used. Now you're just going to make the outline with your fine brush. I love doing architectural drawings and features and and arches and domes and minars and it, it kind of reminds me of back home and uh, I really feel part of the culture 
and uh, you know it's really good i have seen this while growing up i've seen these places i've seen these arches i've seen these domes so they kind of remind me a lot of you know memories from back home and uh, it's a great feeling to be able to draw it and paint them so as you can see i have a fine line here just here again my brush has become wet so i'm going to wipe it and i'm going to now start with the remember we did the straight lines so i start off with the straight lines then it becomes easy for you to paint in between and we have another one here and one more here oops we have another one here too so this would be the the bottom part and wherever you have fine lines you can work on it later with uh, your finer brush your thin brush So keep controlling the water. That's why I like using a small, uh, you know, a little um, cup of water so I can see how much water I'm taking in. And that way I can uh, kind of uh, uh, control how I want my backgrounds to be. You can see one has yellow arches and one has the red peeping inside. There, let's see. Let's see, I can just do these ends here. And I did leave a part over here. I did leave a part over here, so I'm just going to finish it. just down here and wherever you feel you need to even out the black you can start doing that now because the main part is done we're just going to even it up a bit because there are some strokes that you can see so you can just go over it once like wherever you feel you need to or you can even do it once it has dried up and I need to do this edge here. So I'm going to start with this, this roof. And here is the, the fine line. That's why I use the fine brush. Then we have a bit of a balcony here, so I can use my fine brush again and just draw some straight lines gives you a balcony feel and I have a bit of the, I want to even out the black here and let's just do our finishing touches wherever you feel you need to just go over it or adjust the arches you can and if you feel you're happy you just leave them and that is it really then i am going to do the tip here and for this it's pretty easy you just need to make a little ball circular ball out here just above your dome and then this circular part can be raised a little bit here just teeny weeny and then we join it with a straight line and then take it up you can draw another circular um, ball here and a tip again okay and 
and just a few birds around, you know, beautiful birds enjoying the sunset. It's just drawing some basically wide bee V's. These are nice and beautiful birds enjoying the sunset. That's it really. <clears throat> just a few of them. And I just wanted to thank the government of Canada. And I feel very honored to be able to celebrate the diversity of our country and our society and our communities. And, and as well as for me, multiculturalism is not just about celebrating my culture and my tradition, but also to be able to be part and to celebrate our neighbors and our friends and different communities and their cultures. And uh, it's just a great opportunity. It's beautiful. So I'm really thankful and I can just remove this and let's see how it has turned up. Let's do it. And you will have a full, um, you know, picture that you can frame or you can put it up or it, it's beautiful and you can enjoy it. It was lovely being able to be part of this whole multiculturalism. Here we go. So this is how it turned out. And if you want to, you can let it dry and do another coat or you can just enjoy it as is. Thank you for joining. Thank you.